Geek Geek, the world champion, is back in the building tonight. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a wisdom test on Hushwood. So let's see what we've got, folks. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Winter. I've been curious about this stage. I've never, I didn't think about it, but I haven't done one for this one. So let's see what we've got. So I like Alora, folks, because she's just the good hero to go with on this one. So we've just got 10 uh, bandits, five brigands appearing. Yeah, so that, that's all we've got on this one. This one isn't too bad, but I mean, it will get a little a little challenging toward, I mean, especially um, when other certain enemies come out, specifically the Raiders. Yeah, folks, I see that over there. So I got like, yeah, I got to compound the brigands, and then I got to let, they're bringing 13 bandits, 13 bandits. That's what they're doing. So that, but this time, the bandits are going to take that right turn and go and need that canopy. But, I'm, but that's all they're doing. That's not going to phase anything, folks. Yeah, but I mean, Allura, as you've seen, I've gone with her several times. I find myself going with her quite a few times on these wisdom tests because she's just a good choice with that ability to slow down units. Yeah, I saw I'm starting to wave, though. I'm starting to wave, folks. I'm yakking again. Yeah, that's right, folks. I'm yakking again. I'm messing up those brigands, and I'm not giving them a chance, folks. They brought the house this time, though. They brought brigands and bandits. It's chilling time. Good. I don't even know what they brought down there. I can't. I think it's like, again, I think it's like 12 bandits or something like that. All I know is I got a hack from the outskirts. I still don't feel the need to set up a uh, set up a tower though. I still don't feel the need for that. Yeah, I'll stop that. Good. Stop it. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, they're bringing 13 guards and then 18 bandits this next wave. So yeah, good. Yeah, still no need for the towers right now because these reinforcements, these are bandits we're messing up though. But these brigands, I need to hold these brigands though. I need to hold these brigands. Get rid of that bandit. No, 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 yeah, 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 there you go, yeah, that's what I needed to do, yeah, get that off the photo. Good. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, yeah, I got, I need to do that, I need to, I need to reduce that population over there, folks, I can't have, there's too many bandits, I just gotta get rid of them, I gotta get rid of them. Good. Yeah, this, this stage, it's not, I don't think, this stage is can be troublesome because of the fact that you have that canopy, um, but then again, because, yeah, enemies can, you know, they get protected by that canopy, so they're more than likely to advance um, down over here near this near this end point, so that's where the trouble can happen, is that hordes of healthy, hordes of enemies can go unscathed and troubles down at this choke point, so that's, they just take advantage of that environment, so that's, that's what could bring trouble on this stage pretty much, but it's not too bad in my opinion. They probably Four, uh, four marauders, twenty-four brigands is what they did. So uh, the thing here, I need to hold the marauder as hold only the marauders though. <clears throat> yeah, see, we yeah we didn't get on that marauder, so I gotta do it. I gotta do it another crafty way. I gotta cut them off with a Laura. I need to yeah, and then you know what I'm gonna yeah, I gotta start the wave yeah because they brought the house with the canines right. So I gotta hold this, hold it, and then I gotta do it the right way. Come boom! there we go. Good. Yeah, there we go. Mess up those yeah. I, I need it, folks. I gotta get a tower going because it's that it's, it's that serious. We got the house brought on us with the canines. Yeah, I need another tower. I gotta get that going, that going, that going. Good. Yeah, you know I need another tower too, folks. I need that too. I need that too. I need a I need a uh, a, a paladin to hold ground. I gotta do well microing these paladins, but I also need that um this yeah level two artillery. I, I I just I just need it. Good. Yeah, I mean, you mess up those wargs. Good, Alora. Oh, so yeah, slow them down. Yeah, I gotta get yeah, I gotta yeah, folks. I'm not I'm not putting up with all these canines like that. I gotta get them out the picture. Yeah, okay, this yeah, this wave they brought they brought that raider out. They brought six raiders, I think uh twenty I think yes, I think it's six raiders, twenty-six brigands, that's what they did. Yeah, so this is the enemy that's gonna be hard to deal with. It's the raider. That's one of the enemies, and then the other one I'm sure you know is the pillager. But yeah, it's gonna be kind of tricky trying to stop these raiders though, because they're 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 gonna really mess things mess up a lot of our um our our defense our defenses. So the thing is, I just need to I just need to keep touching them up. I mean, the good thing is about the raider is that they have a very slow attack rate in melee combat. So if I if I get them in melee combat, especially with the paladins here, they're gonna they're gonna be stuck in in, a, in one place pretty much indefinitely. As long as there's not more than a, an extra raider, then then I can handle. 
good. There you go. Yeah, that's why I win with the Lord. Yeah, I gotta yak him. I gotta yak him. I gotta yak him. That's right. Give me a mess up those. Yeah, mess up those mercenaries. Yeah, I, I need that maxed out. Yeah, I'm going with a Tesla. I'm going with a Tesla. I need that because I need obviously for decimating hordes of enemies. Though it's a good choice. This wave they brought um, 40 brigands. I mean, I'm sorry, 40 bandits, five raiders. That's what they did. Yeah, they brought 15 at the top, 25 at the bottom with the bandits. Get rid of yeah, get rid of that raider. Get rid of that raider. Good. He's out of the photo. Good. Winter is coming. Cool. Winter is coming. Ice. Yeah, I got yeah, I just gotta I have, I have to do all of this just to stop these these raiders, man. They're just annoying. They're really, really annoying. I got a two ta ta like crazy. Good, yeah, there you go, yeah, then you know, well, yeah, yeah, there was this, folks, I'm compelling the Raiders, hey! <laughs> Good, we have to do that, I was just waiting on that moment, because they just were driving me, they're just driving us crazy with all this, this, this stuff they're doing, they're throwing, using that range attack, the next way they're bringing 45 Gargoyle, 30 War, so that's why I put the Tesla, that's part of the reason why I put the Tesla there, especially to deal with these canines out here. Yep, because they're not done with that, they're not done bringing that out there. Yeah, so the, I mean, the wargs, they're not going to be there. They're not hard to stop on this wave. It's just, but it's a good choice to put that Tesla there to get rid of those pestilent enemies at the bottom and at the same time getting rid of other enemies coming through. So this is this is a good choice when you put the, the Tesla there because every enemy, every enemy that comes over here, you know, the fact that the Tesla ignores armor, I mean, ignores half the armor, it's a good choice to put, especially near, like over here at this choke point. And then with a paladin in, inside, I can hold units there in front of that Tesla. That's when it serves a good purpose good excellent yep get rid of that yeah get rid of those wars all right yeah get rid of that and then the now okay now this next wave they're bringing there they're gonna bring out uh finally that pillager two pillager i think it's nine marauders and ten brigands that's what they're doing on this one yeah so the, uh, yeah so that's this is this is gonna be the enemy that's gonna be a challenge to stop though it shouldn't be if we do it right it shouldn't be that hard but it's gonna be kind of tough to, to deal with him so I, I need to make so whenever I attack I gotta make sure that I'm, I'm really making sure that I'm effectively getting rid of these pillagers though yeah I gotta crack I gotta act at the but at the same time I gotta deal with I gotta deal with them and then I, you know what I gotta do folks yeah see I gotta be smart too I gotta respect the other enemies as well so I gotta I gotta go pow that yeah I gotta yak the, yeah there we go good yeah get, get rid of that marauder no 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 yeah no 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 yeah yeah get rid of that marauder we got well never mind he's weakened already yeah the, if I can weaken the pillagers then they can be they're gonna be much easier to deal with but at the same time I gotta I gotta also not underestimate the marauders too because they're 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 pretty durable too then they and they tend they're gonna they're gonna start bringing a lot of them out here now. Winter. That's the part where they start bringing a lot of them out here. I think they're bringing 30 brigands at the bottom, and they're bringing three raider, three pillager, 20 brigands. So 50 brigands, three raider, three pillagers. I can't remember if he does. Yeah, good. I, I think that's true. I don't know if that's true damage he's doing. But I think it's physical damage he's doing with that with that blade. But I mean, it, 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 it well, actually, I think it's Matt. I don't know. It's a good question. Because I, I, I could have sworn they did magic. It, I, when I looked it up, when the pillagers attack, I could have sworn they said that was magic damage they did. But I, I don't know if they're doing physical damage because they did magic damage. They killed off those palins pretty quickly. Yeah, I, you know what, folks, you know what I'm doing. It's not up for debate. We're good. We're going to get it out of the building. Hey, we're going to yak them. Good. Yeah, I had to do that. I had to do that. I'm trying to make sure that I'm efficient attacking, especially the pillagers. But then at the same time, I got to respect those raiders, though, too. I, I got to respect both of them. Yeah, this next wave, they're bringing a little bit of everything on us. This time, they're bringing, they're bringing, they're bringing pretty much like brigands, marauders, bandit, um, bandits, I think. They're bringing uh, pillagers, they're bringing raiders, and at the bottom, they're bringing 20 wolf, 20 war. So this is the, this is the wave where they hit us with every, a little bit of everything. 
Yeah, so yeah, as you can see, yeah, I set up another good. Yeah, good. Yeah, oh, that's right. That's why I went with that big Bertha. This is a choice. This is a time where it's a good choice. It's a very good choice to go with. Yeah, that's right. Get him out the photo. Get him out the building. Yeah, there we go. That could be wrong. I don't think they brought any bandits, though. I don't, I don't, I don't recall. Good. Yeah, for folks. Yeah, get him, get him, power, yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I had to do it. This is a yeah. See, I could have probably been, but I could have waited a little bit, a tad bit longer, or tried to clump up that pillager and the raider. But I just, I got just, I got too like too impatient. But I wanted to get rid of those raiders because that's that's just uh, because you know at least the pillager would have is a magic resistance, so he would have walked through that yak. Yeah, stop those wargs. Yeah, please get rid of that. And then you know I, I got to step up on that darn pillager. I need to wait for that raider to get close so we can get on them too. Yeah, get, yeah, stop that raider. Yeah, so as you can see the big Bertha, the reason why I went with it is because the Tesla's already getting rid of hordes of enemies behind it and in front of it as it is. Yo, yeah, well, good! Way to get that out the photo. And then you got the, um, but then at the same time, the big Bertha, I'm exploiting that to get rid of enemies on, on the other, the opposite side. You know what I mean? So, in, yeah, enemies right there where this brigand's at, I'm, I'm, I'm relying on it to get rid of hordes of enemies in a line. You know, in a in a straight line with that with that cluster bomb attack, and then of course I'm just making it more ferocious with that dragon launching ability too, and then it just decimates hordes of enemies in general. So yeah, this way they brought 130 um, bandits, three raider, three pillager. That's what they did. So the pillagers and the raiders are all going down the um, straight line, but the but the um, everything else is taking all, the alternative route. Yeah, yeah, hold that, yeah, hold that pillager. No, no, yeah, no, uh, 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 Laura, yeah, yeah, please get off that. No, 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 yeah, off the bandit, off the, uh, off that bandit. And then, folks, as you, you, you know what we're doing with this. We're not gonna play around with it. We're gonna compound it. We're gonna compound it. We're gonna yak it. That's right. We got rid of that darn raider. The way to get that off the photo, and then we're gonna also touch up the other raider. See, let, yeah, this is the part where I need to let that pillager go, folks. I need it. I need it to go over here where these paladins are at. And then I gotta start touching up this raider and start two ta tying like crazy. Yeah, touch him up. Good. We gotta touch him up. Yeah, I see those pillagers, but they're going nowhere. This is why that big Bertha is good, and then the Tesla's good. So that's what I mean. It's getting rid of ports and enemies behind it with the Tesla, and then the big Bertha's decimating in front of it. There we go. Perfect. So I don't get I, I can I don't get overwhelmed over here as, as I don't get too overwhelmed with all these enemies down over here. Good, yeah, this next wave, they're bringing, um, they're bringing two Raider 20 Warg at the bottom, and then they're bringing the house up at the top. I think they're bringing 10 Raiders at the top, and then they're bringing, what is it? Good, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think they're bringing 60 Warg. That's what they're doing. They're, yeah, they, they mix magic and armor resistant enemies together. That's what they do on this wave. It's just like that on like, Bandit Slayer, too. They do the same thing. So I got a two ta two ta Come pop. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. They killed off a lore, but that's all right. I had to. I, that, yes. <sighs> yeah, see, I didn't want that to happen. See, the longer, as long as Alora is out in the game, I just need to uh, maximize the time uh, with her touching up enemies. Okay, yeah, she's back in action. It didn't really matter because the wargs were out here. It's not like I was going to do anything to those wargs with her anyway. You know what? Let's let, get, get, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, that's right. He's out of the photo. He's out of the photo. That's what I'm talking about. Mess up those wargs and decimate them now. Yeah, see that? Yeah, there we go. Good job, Big Bertha. That's why I went with that tower there. That's why I went with that tower. Oh, I forgot. They brought the Marauders, too. I'm sorry. They, they brought that out there, too. Yeah, see, yeah, this part gets intense because we got all the, yeah, we got all these wargs coming. See, they, they would do that. So they, they're very durable. They would say that. But that's okay. Folks. I'm going to two ta ta two ta ta Yeah, two ta ta Yeah, good, good. Good, that big Bertha. That's why I put it there, folks. That's why I did that. Yeah, I got a two. I'm not going to yak, folks. I'm not going to yak. Let the sucker fall from the sky. We're going to hold this. We're going to be tough. We're going to be big, bad, buff, rough, and tough. We're going to hold it over here at this choke point. Nobody's going anywhere, folks. I'm not going for anybody going anywhere. I got a two top tie like crazy with those paladins. I got to block them off with the reinforcements. Get that raider out of here. Yeah, that's right. Good. And then hold that. Hold that. Hold that. 
Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, good. Yeah, this last wave is hectic. They brought the house on us. They're not playing around, folks. They brought 50, bring in six Marauders at the bottom, and they brought like four. Yeah, so you you, you know what we're doing, folks. Uh, please, I, I'm going to leave that Raider alone. He's doomed. He's out of the building, but I got to address the pillagers for primarily. I got to pull the pillagers. That's what I'm talking about. I got to yak them. I got to destroy those pillagers. I wish I could have gotten the taste of those Raiders, got those Raiders with a little taste of that yak. That's all right, though. That's all right. Yeah, th yeah, this part, this, okay, this, this is where it gets kind of tough because we got all of this out here. Plus, we got marauders and brigands at the bottom, so they're that they're, they're gonna add to, to add to the um to us getting overwhelmed. So I gotta I gotta see if I can get rid of this population down there. Good, yeah, there we go. I need to I just need to mess up them mess them up down there. Good, yeah, yeah. We got a two ta ta. We got a two ta ta, and then yeah, we got, especially with these palins. Good, there you go. Good, yeah, good. Way to get rid of that pillager, baby. We gotta, we gotta dance around now. We gotta dance around. I gotta keep Allura a good distance away so she can, I can efficiently slow down as many of them as possible. Yeah, there, hey, good. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I got a two ta ta. I got a two ta. I'm gonna be patient with the yakker because I'm. I see those other pillagers over there. I see those raiders, but I, over there that just came out. But that's okay. Get rid of that pillager. Yeah, good, good, good. yeah. We gotta dance around, folks. It's intense. It's intense. Hold though. Hold all this. I gotta go. Pow, pow, pow. I gotta yak that. That's what I'm talking about, folks. I'm ferocious. Hey, hold those pillages. Get rid of that raider. Get rid of them. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. Good, good. And mess up those pillagers. Mess them up. They're out of the photo, folks. They're out of the photo. Yeah, good. And get rid of him. Yeah, whoa. Good. Hey, that's right, folks. That's right. They're out of the photo. They're out of the photo. Finish all this. Finish all that. Yeah, now watch out for all that. Yep, good. Yeah, hold. Yeah, good. They're, they're they're doomed. They're so doomed. They are all out of here. Get rid of all this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, folks. That's how it's done. So three towers, three towers. A Paladin, a Big Bertha, and a Tesla. So that 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 one, I think I I think that was the most efficient choice for towers to use. But I mean, as you as I explained, of course the Paladins were good. Probably Barbarians. I could see them working too, but then they would be a danger, especially when the Raiders and the Pillagers appear. Even Marauders, you know, they could cause a little bit of trouble. But especially the Raiders and the Pillagers would cause a problem. So I chose the Palins, of course, to stay within range of the artillery and then exploited Allura to slow down units and then exploit her magic attack damage. So that's it, folks. That's the wisdom test for um, the stage uh, Hushwood. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more vids. Ricky Egg of the War Champion. Farewell.